Hello, today we got a customer's car that's from the valley here and one of the uh, perks of uh, living close to West Coast Classic Cougar is when you bring your car in for some service, sometimes you end up getting things for free done that you didn't ask for. And today I want to focus on freshening up this grill. From the factory, this area and this area were black, but as time goes on the UV rays will turn this to gray, or red, then pink, and then completely silver. And whereas we don't want to mess with the patina of this 87,000 original mile car too much, that's one thing that just bugs me, is having that completely uh, faded out, especially when I look at pictures. I also hate seeing misaligned uh, stuff here. So I'm going to run you through a couple of things real quick on how to freshen up this grill. We reproduced this frame. We get this emblem from Scott Drake and we get this uh, background decal from John's Classic Cougars. And I sell this to a lot of people, and even experienced guys come back at me and say, ah, oh, man, I don't know if I, I can do this. this I, what do I do? And they end up putting it in their glove compartment and never putting it on. Well, let's show you how easy this is. There's two ways to tackle it. One is, if you're just replacing this background, then we're going to take off the door, we're going to grind the studs from the back, and we can do that. But I say let's just do the whole thing because inevitably your chrome is dull here and the kitty so shows some age and uh, it's just easier to take the whole thing off the way it is, leave your grill intact. That's a lot of work taking apart all this. So I know it doesn't sound right but here we go. We're gonna break the emblem off but we're gonna do it gently because we want to save this and put it on our toolbox. And believe it or not you're just gonna get behind it with a couple of screwdrivers and there's four tabs on the back side that we're trying to break. Just like that. Then, so now you hear I got the top two. Now I'm going to get the bottom two. And I think I only need one screwdriver for that operation. There it goes. There we go. Now you have a treasure to put on your toolbox. Okay, you can purchase these items individually on the website. Some of you are going to choose just to buy this so you can reuse your kitty and your um, corral, we're going to call that. But the cost efficient way if you're going to buy them is buy them as a kit and they're on our website. Make sure the four little clips are in there because those are going to go on the back side. Peel off the backing off our 3M aluminum decal. And it's more than a decal, this is rigid aluminum. And if all is well, this kitty, which also has two little clips, as seen here, is going to go right in here. Bingo! Perfect! Okay, let's put our kitty on. Now, if you're reusing yours, you're going to have um, you're going to have ground off these studs off the back side because they're peened over, and you're going to use epoxy to put these back in. Same with this. You're going to have broke off these studs, and now you're going to re put you're going to put them back on with epoxy. Okay, now we're ready to put it back on the car. And this you might. You might, uh, I don't know, put a little dab of glue on your fingers or something, because getting back there and not dropping these clips can be cumbersome. Feel for the stud. Locate the four studs. There they are. And I think we're going to take off this frame here to give us a little more clearance. Yes, that's going to give me a little more space. I got a little piece of double-sided tape, and notice which way the curve goes on the clip. I'm going to reach in there and feel for the first stud. Here it goes. And of course I had to sacrifice the tape 
but let's just get another piece of tape for the next piece. I find that the stud in the left upper corner, is, there's too much blockage for me to get my fingers in there. You know, you could probably leave it off and be fine, but I hate doing that. I'm somewhat of a perfectionist. And I, if I got four fasteners and four studs, I want to see them put on. So, this little tool that we use for uh, taking off door panels, door panel clip remover tool, works good as a finger, a slender finger. So I'm going to put my double-sided tape on there. Remember that game Operation? You know, you thought those games you played as a kid were, you know, just time wasters, but hey, they, they prove uh, useful in later years. Here we go. You're going to need a good halogen light in there, LED light, something like that. That was too easy. <laughs> Now, uh, since we've got the other one started, and you might find it easier just to do all four with this tool. So we got the other three started, but I didn't get them all the way on with my uh, finger, so let's, uh, let's tighten them up. There you go. That whole procedure took, uh, I don't know, eight minutes? Here's the second one. Now, I don't want to mess with this one because it's actually in pretty good shape. Um, but do know, uh, to get this assembly off, you're going to have to hit these four bolts right here. One, two, three, four. Kind of pay attention to its positioning because you want to put it in the same spot. You take this out. You, you take the... Uh, two uh, speed nuts off the back to get it from the painted portion. And what our goal is, is to get the Mercury Man off. Now see how this Mercury Man has acne? We don't have a reproduction of that yet. We will eventually. But we have some good used ones here on our website. So we got to get that guy off before we can replace this tired looking uh, background foil. So you can use a wooden dowel or whatever you have handy. This is how easy it is. This is aluminum, so it's a soft metal. There you go. Now there is the original color. I've had people argue with me that this is supposed to be silver. No, it's UV ray damage. That is supposed to be a black background. So we're going to save this little guy, and now we got to get this foil off. That's uh, a little harder than it looks. It's bonded on there well. Now keep in mind when you uh, tapped on this from behind, this is a soft metal. I've never had this break and I've taken a lot of them out, but you may uh, dimple it outwards. So, you know, just gently, and you can use your scraper as a straight edge to tell if you got it right. Okay. This is critical. Same with the rear deck lock decal installation. This may need a little bit of material taken off. And since this is just aluminum, just a few strokes on a file or 90 grit sandpaper, test fit, do it again, test fit, do it again, then peel the back off. little cleanup of the edges so it slips right in. 
and it'll probably stay fine without a drop of epoxy, but I, I, I suggest you put a little bit of uh, adhesive in there. Okay, we have a couple more uh, grill beautification tips here. Uh, most people are just puzzled on how to ever get this aligned. What they don't realize is the factory gave you an adjustment. So I got this little uh, 7 30 seconds deep socket here. Watch where I put it right here. This one doesn't matter too much. This adjustment is for when it opens. The one you care about is the one in the resting position. Now watch this. Just turn it inward. The problem is the uh, factory didn't quite give you long enough bolts. So if you find your bolts are out of adjustment and your grill is still not aligned, we have elongated grill bolts that'll do the job. Okay, and that'll get it looking pretty good. This one, somebody shimmed this one already. They put a little piece of rubber in here. So this one's actually out too much because of their homemade shim. So we'll draw this one the other way. I've seen people glue nickels back there to uh, use as a shim. Keep in mind we also have the hard rubber grill stops. Okay, that looks a little better. Now let's look at a couple other things. Notice how it's aligned correctly here this is where you'll never get it aligned correctly. That's not an adjustment, that's a warped grill. And the only way you're going to get that straightened is with our grill straightening kit. You don't want to use a pry bar and try to get it all done instantly. It has to be slowly over time, just like braces for your teeth. We have another video on that. The only way to keep it aligned is keep putting those grill uh, straightening kits, braces, in place or convert to electric. The beauty about electric, it doesn't put stress on your grill all the time while you're driving. But on a real original car, do you really want to be electric? Not if it's a valuable car. Even if you do go electric, put that original vacuum stuff up in the shelf and don't throw it away. So anyway, let's talk about grill bars. You might have scrapes, pits, damage on one or all your bars. Keep in mind, on our website, we have every piece uh, individual and uh, we also have the whole rechrome set this is how you get them we do not paint them a lot of people choose to restore their grills in black on the edges factory they were argent but some people think the grill should match the taillights and this should be painted black so a little easier to go black I personally like it better, but if you want original, you want to be Argent. Here is an example of one that's been restored by somebody with much more skill than me. That's what they look like with correct Argent paint, new emblem, all that. If you're buying re-chrome bars from me, you got to send in the cores. If you're buying used from me, you don't have to send in cores, but you still have to take these off. This is intimidating to some people, but it's easier than it looks. Watch this. Here's how you remove the emblem without breaking it for those interested. One, two, three, four. studs. There you go. When you remove your cores, that's what we want to see. Some people want to drill and tap and put screws in every one of these studs. I don't think that's necessary. Look, you already got six screws around the perimeter. You got uh, all these studs here. 
I, I don't think that's necessary. A drop of epoxy when you reinstall these on your rechromes is all you need. So hopefully that gives you some ambition to tackle what seems like a hard job but isn't.